What's up everyone? This is Josh with a fun crypto and blockchain tutorial for you today. Today, we're going to be talking about NFTs. And I'm in one of my vehicles instead of in front of my usual whiteboard because we're going to relate the concept of NFTs to vehicles. I think a lot of people get hung up in their understanding of what an NFT is uh, because of the most popular form of NFTs right now, which is digital artwork. People are buying and selling uh, digital artwork like images, videos, virtual clothing for VR, and all sorts of things on, uh, for example, the Ethereum blockchain. And many people get hung up on this because digital artwork is so easy to copy. If you have some digital artwork that you own as an NFT, what's stopping somebody from copying that artwork, minting a new NFT, and pretending they're the rightful owner of that fancy monkey JPEG? I think it's easier to understand NFTs if you think about them the same way that you think about a car title. NFTs are really a title or certificate of authenticity for a particular item. A singular item that can be represented and traded on the blockchain. So for example, when we talk about vehicles, every car, every truck has a unique vehicle identification number that's registered on the title. And each vehicle has its own unique history. For example, my vehicles I love to detail and maintain and work on. If I took a vehicle into the shop, let's say, for some work that I didn't want to do, and they gave me back an identical Ford Ranger, uh, it still wouldn't be the same vehicle. It has a different VIN, a different title, and a different history. In that sense, my truck is unique. So. NFTs can be thought of much of the same way. Even if somebody can create a digital copy of the artwork, what people are really valuing and trading is that history, that trading and certificate of authenticity that the one NFT provides. People aren't really buying just the image itself, but rather they're buying the fact that they are the rightful owner of an original item with all of the history that that entails. If that's still a little bit confusing and the car analogy doesn't make sense to you, think about original physical artwork. If somebody has a reprint of the Mona Lisa or an important document like the US Constitution hanging in their house, it's not valued the same way as the original item or a trading card that was signed by an important person. You don't want the copy of that if you're interested in trading that artwork. You're interested in the original item with its certificate of authenticity. So again, I find that if the digital idea of NFTs is a bit confusing, to think about them the way that you would think about vehicles or houses. We have to register our vehicles with the DMV and have a title that proves that we're the rightful owner of a vehicle. In the future, perhaps, DMVs or even individuals might trade uh, vehicle titles on a blockchain instead of a database and with paper titles. It may be in the future that when I'm ready to sell a vehicle for something new that uh, I talk to the owner and send the title to their Ethereum address after they pay me the Ethereum or something to that extent. We, uh, with you know future electric vehicles, especially like the Tesla, uh, you can use your phone to start the car uh, instead of a physical key. So we can envision a future where by sending the title to somebody else's Ethereum address, they're now able to start that car up and enter the vehicle uh, using their phone. So I think that's a really interesting way to think about this concept. A while back, I did a silly but informative video called The Blockchain Lawnmower, where I put my old lawn tractor on the blockchain and wrote up a little script to start it up after proving that I was the rightful owner uh, using a digital signature. So there are many ways to uh, update your mental model around this topic and sort of share your understanding with others. I hope you found this video interesting and informative. All of my content is free and available under open licenses like Creative Commons. 
So I encourage sharing, reuse, as long as you attribute me as the original author. If you do like this content, please share it, please reuse it, and subscribe to my channel to help me out. Thanks, and have a great day.